Yes, uh, and those five years in Chicago were among the busiest and happiest of my life. From Chicago? We go to South Bend, Indiana. They don't want to hear about our experiences in South Bend. But well, Jonathan, you've lived a very interesting life, I'm sure. But we really shouldn't have allowed you to talk so late. My meeting Dr. Einstein in London, you might say, changed the whole course of my life. You see, I had been in South Africa in the diamond business, and then Amsterdam in the diamond market. I wanted to go back to South Africa, and Dr. Einstein made it possible for me. A very good job. When I was finished operating, the face looked so different. So now I had to do I love that face. Still carry a picture with me. This looks more like the way you used to look, but still, I wouldn't know you. I think we'll go back to this face, Doctor. Yeah, be safe now. I'm sure you both want to get to where you're going. Oh, and Abby, I'm so full of that delicious dinner of yours that I'm unable to move a muscle. After all, it's very late, and... I found it! I found it! What did you find, Teddy? The story of my life, my biography. Here's the picture I was telling you about, General. Here we are, both of us. President Roosevelt and General Goggles at Calibra Cut. That's me, General, and that's you. My, how I've changed. <laughs> well, uh, you see, that picture hasn't been taken yet. We're, uh, we're still digging locks. But now, General, we shall both go to Panama and inspect the new lock. Uh, no, Teddy, not to Panama. <laughs> it goes some other time. Besides, Panama's a long way off. Nonsense, it's just down in the south. The cellar. We let him dig the Panama Canal in our cellar. General Douglas, as President of the United States, Commander in Chief of the Army and Navy, and the man who gave you this job, I order you to accompany me to Panama on the inspection of the new lock. Teddy, I think it's time you went to bed. I beg your pardon? Who are you? I'm Woodrow Wilson. Now go to bed. No, you're not Wilson. You're no one I know now. Let's see. Your face looks familiar. Perhaps later, on my hunting trip to Africa. Yes, you look like someone I might meet in the jungle. Teddy, it's your brother Jonathan. He's half his face changed. Oh, so that's it, huh? A nature faker! <laughs> Perhaps we had better get to bed, Teddy. Jonathan and his friend have to go back to their hotel. Oh, no, uh, General Gerzels, inspect the canal. Okay, Mr. President. We go to Panama. Ah, pull it, pull it. If you'll just follow me. It's down south, you know.
most distinguished guest in Dr. Einstein. I'm afraid you don't appreciate his skill, but you will. In a few weeks, you'll see me looking like a very different Jonathan. He can't operate on you here. When Dr. Einstein and I get organized, when we resume practice, oh, I forgot to tell you, we're turning Grandfather's old laboratory into an operating room. Jonathan! I expect to be quite busy. Jonathan, you are not going to turn this house into a hospital! A hospital? Heavens no. It will be a beauty parlor. Jonathan, down in the Oh, Dr. Einstein, my aunts have invited us to live with them. So you think so? You are sleeping here tonight. Please get my room ready immediately. Well, uh, just for tonight. Go down to the cellar. What do you think I find? What? The Panama Canal. The Panama Canal? Yeah. It's a whole teddy duck. Six feet long and four feet wide. It just fits Mr. Spinanza. Down there. They knew they were bringing Mrs. Spinanza. Now that's hospitality. Rather a good joke on my aunt. Them living in a house with a body buried in the cellar. <laughs> but, uh, how, how did you get him in? <clears throat> yes, we can't just bring him through the door. We'll drive the car up between the house and the cemetery. And then when they've gone to bed, we'll bring Mr. Spinanza in through the window. Just think, Doctor. We have a bed tonight. Take it easy, Doctor. Don't reach for that bottle. You remember, you're operating in the morning. And this time, you better be sober. Don't very shy. I fix you up quick. <laughs> if you don't. Jonathan, your room is ready. Oh, well, then you and Martha can go to bed. We're moving the car behind the house. It's all right where it is until morning. Oh, we don't want to leave it in the street. That might be against the law. Jonathan to the 